What is good, Storm fans? I am Bryant Cook, and today we're playing some Pioneer Neoform. We've played this deck a few times previously here on this channel. You'll find those videos throughout, but for now, here's the first one. Go check that one out. In my last video, I was playing Invoke Calamity due to popular requests in the comment section, and let me tell you, it stunk. It was terrible. I can't believe I played that card. I knew it was bad. I listened to the comment section. Why would I ever do that? That's all I have to say. It was terrible. So I've moved on from that. However, the comment section had a pretty good idea on the last video. Instead of playing Invoke Calamity, why don't I play Strategic Planning, a card that I play in Lotus Field combo to dig for Neoform, but also fill the graveyard for our Delve creatures. It seems like the perfect 9 through 10 copies of Tygum's scheming or contingency plan that I was looking for. I am super excited to be playing strategic planning today to see how that works out. While playing that video, I had an idea for possibly beating the mono blue spirit stacks of the format. And that was to board out Velomachus Lorehold, our combo piece, along with eight time walk effects with the Karn's Temporal Sundering and part the Water Veil. This gives us 10 slots to board in. With those 10 slots, we can board in Duress, Abrupt Decay, and then two additional creatures. Against Spirits, I would bring in this, uh, I'm going to attempt to pronounce this, I'm going to say it wrong, so bear with me, Draculath Maul Flames. I don't know. They're all made up words, right? Uh, but this card's pretty good at if you have the luxury of being able to untap and then attack with it, because you can start to blow out their creatures. If you don't have that luxury, then Dragon Lord Atarka kills their largest creature and then is a 9-9 that they have to swing through, which is pretty dangerous. So both of these I'm pretty excited about. You could even board in Horror of the Broken... Or I'm sorry, Horror of the Broken Land. <laughs> Some are, sorry, I have Pauper on the mind. Holebreaker Horror. And you can board that in maybe over something like a strategic planning. I'm not sure. But then that gives you a third option as well to, you know, play through their counter spells, whatever. So that's the cyborg plan for that matchup. And with, you know, a couple bannings happening in the format, goodbye Expressive Federation, goodbye Winota, we don't have to play removal in the cyborg anymore that isn't the abrupt decay, so our cyborg gets to be a lot cleaner. That's what I have to say about this deck tech. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's say you're watching this video for the first time and you have no idea how this deck works. I did mention two other videos that you can click on. However, here's a short and brief description. You can fill your graveyard with these contingency plans and schemings. You play a Delve creature on turn three. You tap your other two lands to cast Neoform. Neoform gets the dragon with the plus one, plus one counter. You attack, you reveal time walk effects, and the plus one, plus one counter means that you can now cast these because it has a power of six or greater. You keep on attacking with the dragon and you win. That's my 30 second uh, deck or description of how this deck works. Little space brain today, bear with me. Uh, but that's what I've got. No more of me rambling. I just want to hop on and play some magic. I am on a timed clock today, so uh, I'll see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. 
Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to round 1, I am on the play, let's get it done. Neoform in hand, we have, this hand is beautiful, literally the only thing this hand needs is land number 3, I love it. Okay, so we can play this breeding pool tapped past the turn. Okay, so then on turn two, we have Sanctum into Scheming, and then we have it all wrapped up. Okay, Stitcher Supplier. Uh, so it's some sort of bug deck, or junk deck, I mean Abzan if you're a, a young kid. This is likely a, uh, what is it called? Um, Breeze Fang deck. There we go. I know words. Sorry, I'm like completely out of it today. I have an errand to run later, and I just like have to get this league done uh, before that. So a little spacey. Ooh, this isn't good. I don't love this because I have to bin double time walk, which really stinks. Put that on top. And the reason that really stinks is I'm going to be three time walks down out of my five. So even if I get the dragon in play, there's a pretty good chance that I miss the time walk when I attack. All right. So they have their blooming marsh. They have all three colors at this point. What is their turn to play? Looks like they're going to combat. I'll take one from a stitcher supplier. With their balloon command. They could have milled me. They chose not to. They did mill the Parhelion though. Okay. So we're going to put. A big old dragon onto the battlefield. How about that? So we'll cast the hoots. Love a good hoot. Fun fact. I love this deck so much that I bought a Japanese foil. That is how much I love this deck. It's the sweetest. All right, let's attack for six. Hiya. We'll get the top seven. We did not hit a time walk. But I did hit a thought C, so let's see if we can interrupt their game plan here. Wow, that hand is not good. Let's get this thing. They can have a Grizzly Salvage. Attack them for six. They go to 14. And ideally for us, next turn, we get to untap with the dragon. I cast one of these effects looking to put a time walk on top. All right, looks like they're just passing here. Draw. No! All right, let's cast the plan. Uh, there's a Karn's Temporal Sundering, so that's good. Okay, so we're going to put that on top. Go to combat, attack. Okay. We will cast this current Temporal Sundering, targeting me. And we don't want to target anything with that, so we just want the extra turn. So now our opponent goes to 8. And I have to find another time walk in order to win this. Draw. Blooming Marsh. Let's cast the scheming. And another time walk was in there, so we got it. You'll love to see it. Okay, so this goes on top. Back with dragon. And we had a part the water veil, so I'll cast that one instead because this one I have to click less. So I'm interested in that. And the opponent concedes the game. Woot woot. 
So they're on a Grease Fang deck. I think we likely want the Ley Lines here and we'll board out our own copies of Thoughtseize. We don't want to dilute our own game plan too much. So that's the thought process here. Submit. I could also board in like maybe one of these creatures. Like that is one thing I like about this. If you think that this list has a creature that you'd rather have in a certain matchup, you can do slight pivots too. Like you can just board up a third creature. You don't have to board out the entire plan. So this hand's fine. We have three lands. We have our delve threat and we have a plan. So what we're missing here is the Neoform and that's it. Okay, draw. Ding dong, love that. We'll take two, pass the turn. Okay, another land. Is this a Seder Wayfinder? It is. Mill that graveyard. Deafening Silence. It isn't a card I actually care about that much. It does stop me the first turn with the dragon, but after that, it doesn't matter. So let's cast the Otherworldly Gaze. No Neoform in here, so we're just going to mill all three. Draw. Perfect timing, Leyline. Perfect timing. I think I'll just play the plan here. Okay, no Neoform here either. I'm just going to mill a whole bunch. All right, so we're at 43 cards in library, so we're almost a third of the way through. Land number three, no Grease Fang. That's a good sign. They attack. We'll take one down to 17, and they're passing. Draw. Hmm. All right. I'm going to play a Hoots. Pass the turn. On their end step, I can flash back another Whirly Gaze. I'm going to beat down deck two. They're tapping some mana here. Is this a Witherbloom command? They're going to mill me for three. Oh, no, they're draining me for three. Okay. That's fine. They return to Temple Garden. I think they're holding open Assassin's Trophy. They held open these two last turn, and now this turn they're doing this. I have a pretty strong read on Trophy. All right, so we'll mill this, and then I'm going to leave the Velomachus on top because I'm going to have to be able to beat a Trophy here by the looks of it. Let's see if they Trophy beat this now. Because I kept on top. Draw. All right, let's attempt a Neoform. Move to combat. And now here's the trophy. Oh, Noxious Grasp. Okay. Sure thing. So I'm going to pass here. I do have the flashback on Otherworldly Gaze to find... Um, another Neoform. Ooh, am I dead? I can't remember how much the Parhelion does. 13, right? So it's 5 plus 2 four fours. And then this, so that'd be 14. So I go to 1. Are you remembering this correctly? If that's the case, I'm dead here. If I go to 1. Because I, I would need to be able to tap the Confluence. Yeah. All right. So they got this one. Okay. Two open mana. Regisaur. Technically, if I draw exactly Neoform for turn. Uh, well, I guess I lose to the tokens. All right. We'll, con we'll concede this one. I wonder if I want Thought Season, not the Ley Lines. Also, maybe I just do the Holebreaker Horror as an option to swing through the 4-4s. Four I'm not sure. Hmm. Is this better? I guess this actually kills a 4-4 four four when it attacks and a 3-3. Three three. Maybe I want this. And... 
Word out one planning. Let's try this out. Also gives me a third creature, so I don't have to be afraid of being more aggressive when I mill. And I like that a little bit. All right, game three, run the play. I've opened up my creature. That's not ideal. Um, but I still think that this hand's a keep. We are looking for land three plus neoform. We have everything else going on. Component takes a mulligan. All right, let's start it off. Mana Confluence, and we'll go directly to 17 life to cast this Thought Seize. Noxious Grasp. Death Rite. I think we take the Grasp. Pass the turn. Man's pretty clunky. Okay, so they can have a turn on Death Rite with no land in the graveyard. Although we do have a scheming, so there's a chance we could be accelerating them a little bit. Draw. Okay, we found our land. Let's see if we can find the uh, Neoform. Hmm. So I think I'm actually going to leave the land on top. I don't want to give them something to do. When next turn I can mill it and then immediately delve it away. All right, they made me lose two. And they played a land I didn't know about. Sure, you can have a deafening silence. So we still know there are three cards in hand. Ouch, I will go to 12. Let's play the scheming. That's a bummer. Um, I think I actually want to keep the hoots. I think this might be a game where we just beat down. Now for a black, we'll cast the Tassiger. Let's make sure we exile our lands here. Okay. So they're one land away from playing the Chariot. Let's attack with the Tassiger. Scheming. And there's the Neo. Okay, uh, I'm just going to leave everything else on top. Go to 10, play the Hoots, and we'll double everything that isn't the dragon. Trying to limit the amount of life they can make me lose with the death right. So we still know all three cards in their hand. There's the Chariot. They're at 12. So I can cast the Neoform here, but I can't then play a spell off the dragon because of the Deafening Silence. So I think the play here is to put the dragon into play and then only attack with the dragon because I can't deal lethal damage by attacking. And if I swing out, I leave myself dead. I guess this thing has Vigilance, so that's not entirely true. But it doesn't make sense to attack with the Tassiger because I could just, like, you know, do myself a disservice. Uh, they can buy a turn here with the Death Rite because they can gain life off the creatures I have in Graveyard. So they're going to go to six. So this Death Rite might buy them a turn. Depends on what my Dragon reveals on the next attack. They have two cards. We know one of them is Parhelion. They do not attack. Draw. Let's play the other worldly gaze and hope that we hit a time walk effect on top. Oh no! I forgot about the deafening silence. I am so bad. Why did I do that to myself? That was so stupid. Um. What was I thinking? I I just talked about the deafening silence. Um sure. I don't know why I did that. Alright, well we wouldn't have hit a time walk, so I don't know how much that matters. 
Kind of foolish, though. Now they have to gain two life. All right, so they go to two. Pass the turn. Why did I mill the land? I gave them a land. Can they hard cast here? So they go untap land. Yeah, I shouldn't have milled the land either. Jeez Louise, I am playing so poorly right now. I was fortunate enough to win the match, but played like garbage. All right, I'm going to tighten up moving forward. We are 1-0. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Play like garbage and still win. Let's see if I can not play like garbage and still win. We're on the draw for match number two. I have a pretty good hand here. While this is, hand essentially is a mulligan to five due to having double time lock, these five cards are amazing. The only thing I'm looking for at this point is Neoform. Hello, Thoughtseize. Okay, let's cast it. Temple Garden. They have six cards. Uh, when this enters the battlefield, draw a card. As long as it's an enchanted, a creature has lifelink. If it enchanted an equipment, that equipment has lifelink. I don't know what that card really does. So it looks like they're just bogles, so we'll remove this archer. I've never seen pioneer bogles before. Draw. Old Tassiger. Okay. Untap because I tapped for the wrong color. Cast Contingency Plan. I think I'm going to keep the... Uh, hmm. Okay, a little bit odd. I'm going to keep these two. Pass. Next turn, I'm going to Thought Seize into a Tassiger. Land three, you got it. Draw. Blooming Marsh, play the Thought Seas. Okay, uh, let's take the Ethereal Armor. And the Delve Threat. Pass the turn. That Thought Seas did work. They're cycling with the Rune. Land, draw. Oh my god, I can't believe I drew a strategic planning. How crazy is that? Uh, I think we take it the other planning here. Could take the Blooming Marsh to then start activating the Tassiger, but I don't know if that's like a winning strategy or not. I think I'd rather just have the planning. Get in there. I'm an aggro deck. A draw. Was it a creature? It was a creature, so they have the Griff's Boon, which will give it flying. And then what was the third one? I mean, we're about to see it, right? No, I guess I didn't know it. Oh, we hit the Neoform. Lucky Duck. Cast it. It's a dragon time. Ugh. We did not hit a time walk, so we'll cast this. Okay, and then put this and that on top. We have to pass the turn. Wait, wait. I'm so bad. I was supposed to play the Chassiger there. Can you tell that this is my first time ever playing Magic? Because it's true. Um, geez, Louise. I don't know how I'm supposed to beat this. Um, yeah, like, how do I beat a 6-6 six, six with this deck? <laughs> a 6-6 six, six flyer. I don't know if I can. Oh, wait, I can attack with the Karn. Okay, I got it. I got it. Um, or, uh, why did I say Karn with the Velomachus? And I have Temporal Sundering on top, which is going to bounce. Sorry, I'm just, like, a little just, like, I don't know. There's something off with me today. 
but I figured it out. So I'm going to attack with the Velomachus. Current Temporal Sundering is on top. I can bounce one of their permanents. So we're going to target me, and then we'll bounce this. Um, let's just bounce the Griff Spoon. Wait, it still flies? Oh, it's double Griff Spoon. I'm a dummy. I have no excuses. I'm just playing like garbage. Okay. Draw. Let's cast planning, I guess. Take the thought sees. Let's cast that. I don't know why I did that either. Um, get in there. Hit another Karn's Temporal Sundering. We'll bounce the Unflinching Courage this time, like I should have in the previous attack. <sighs> Play like garbage, you get rewarded. That was so bad. Like, actually terrible. That's how good this deck is, where you can play like it's your first time playing Magic and you still you can still win. It's, it's insane. Um, I feel so bad that you're even watching this right now. Ah, oh, geez. Okay, well, let's... Quit complaining and focus on winning this next game. So Dragon Lord of Tarka isn't something we're interested in because I can't target their stuff. Same thing with this Dracuseth. Um This bounce is not land permanence, which is pretty interesting because I could theoretically bounce a whole bunch of enchantments as a backup plan. So I think I like that, and we can cut plannings. Let's try this. Wonder Us, maybe. Actually, I'm on the draw. Would one decay be better? Let's do this. Learning as we go. All right, well, this would have been better as a duress based on how the rest of this hand looks. Um, hmm. Another mulligan to five, essentially. I think I'm actually going to ship this just because it doesn't have Neoform or the creature, so I feel like I'm asking for a lot. And this hand is just significantly better, I think. So we'll bottom the part of the water veil. Opponent is on five cards. Okay. The Trailblazer. Let's cast Thoughtseize. Let's get rid of six cents. So they just have the Run of Howl in hand, which is fine. But, like, I don't even have the the dragon yet, so it doesn't matter that much. All right, so they just have run afoul. And we'll take two, draw. That was a good one. So we go to 14. We'll cast plan. We'll just mill everything here. Pass the turn. Ouch, I'm at 12. Two cards. Let's just burn the Thought Seize now. I'll go to 10. Double Run Afoul. So that's actually a little bit of a problem. Hmm. Play the Tassiger. Okay, and then I'll play this Breeding Pool tapped. Pass the turn. Wait, oh, it flies. I missed that. I was like, why can't I block this? Um, so that's actually pretty scary when I'm at eight life. Let's flash back this other worldly gaze. There's the Neo, but is that good enough when I know that they have a run of fall on hand? All right, so I'm going to take a little bit. I'm going to take one extra damage here. I don't know how much it matters, but I'm going to play the Hoots. I'm trying to look like I want to be the beatdown deck here and hope that for some reason they tap the green source on their turn. I'll go to five. All right, so they still have a run of fall and one unknown. Get in there. So we're representing lethal at the moment. And this is going to kill me. 
Yep. Interesting. Okay, clearly I didn't give enough respect to double run afoul this game. Bummer. Um, I don't want this card. I'm just going to try this out. All right, on the play for game three. I think we can do better. Yeah, this is certainly good. Keep. Bottom the extra gaze. Ouch, 18 past the turn. Turn one temple into scout. We'll play other really gaze. We found the creature, which is great. All right, draw. So I'm going to scheming here, looking for land three. Okay, so I can mill these two. That leaves five, and I get to leave double time walk in my dock. So let's hope that the opponent taps out on their second turn. There's an armor. I'll take two, 15. Do we have a window to try to win here? Play the Hooting Mandrills. Leaving another worldly gaze in there. And now we Neoform. Go get the dragon. Attack for six. See if we can hit a time lock. We did. So we will take an extra turn. And thanks to their shock land, they're at a divisible of six. So one more time lock wins the game here. Um, I'm going to take a draw. So, ooh, that was really good. I was thinking about upkeep flashing back the otherworldly gaze, but if I don't see a time lock, I have to take a land, assuming that there's even a land in the top to be able to cast the scheming. So it's risky to do that because in general, scheming just sees more cards. So why look at three when you can look at five? And there's the extra time lock. We have won the game. Okay, so this goes on top. Get in there. Triggers. Okay, we'll cast Currents Temporal targeting me. Bounce this enchantment. And that's the ball game. Draw. Look at me now, Mom. 2 0. Oh. Doesn't matter how poorly I play, this deck is so good that it carries you. That's how good mo uh, modern Pioneer Neoform is. I'll see you in the third match. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite Stormwind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. This deck is so good, and this hand is insane. All we're really looking for is the third land. We're going to keep this. All right. Boo! Draw. Ouch. Thought sees. See if they counter this. No, they don't. We'll take the Geissner. Pass the turn. So I guess I'll get to test out my new sideboard. Ah, oh, this was a brutal draw. Come on. Yikes. That hurt. 
Well, we found land three, but it's going to be tough to resolve through those. All right, so other really geese. We're just going to mill all three, which should put five cards in my graveyard for the monkey. Pass. Faceless Haven. Yep. So... I'm definitely losing this race right now, too. I could make them double sacrifice here by playing the Neoform. Hmm. I don't think that's good enough, though. If I just draw land four... Yeah, I think I just have to be patient. Well, there's land four, but a milling double time walk. All right. Do they cast the slip out the back? They do. Okay, so now land four doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm done. They've got me. Spirit, yep. Perfect draw. Yeah, there's no coming back here. Okay. The second Mausoleum Wonder was too good. But we do get to try our new board play now. I'm pretty excited about that. So let's get rid of all these. We don't want the time walks for the dragon. We're going to become a more interactive deck. So we get four duress. Or abrupt decay, which is huge here in my opinion. Atarka. And then the Dracusleth or whatever you want to call it. Do I want the hole breaker? That's another question. Over something like the second planning. Let's try this out. Game two, we're on the play. This hand's really good, assuming that I can find the next land. I think we keep this. Run it with a mulligan to five. All right, so I'm going to lead off on Thoughtseize. Ouch. Take the spirit. I'm trying to slow them down. That's my real game plan here. Island. Upkeep. Let's cast the other worldly gaze looking for land two. I did not hit. Wow. All right. Come on, Doc. A. That's a monkey. Boom. That's what we wanted. Now they have their second land. Neither of these creatures have flash, so that's interesting that they didn't play anything there. Get in. Let's see if they let me resolve a strategic planning. Do I take the... Uh, there's no way I'm ever casting this. I guess it is, if I get build up to seven lands, it is castable. Uh, a little bit of a pipe dream, I think, though. Would I rather have land four or a card that wins the game on turn 15? I think land four. All right, pass. They did not play a creature on the end step, so no rattle chains or anything like that. There's the spirit into Shacklegeist. Draw. Well, I drew the million drop anyway. Um, let's see if they let me go to combat. They should just tap these two. And they didn't. So we know that they have a Supreme Phantom. Okay. Now I can play the Tassiger. I'm just a mid-range deck this game, I think. All right, pass. Faceless Haven. They have the Supreme Phantom. And they're getting in. Draw. Another Hoots. Why aren't they tapping my stuff? I don't understand. They're letting all the damage through, huh? That's bold. 
pass the turn. So they can level up the spirit here. Am I not reading this correctly? Tap un two untapped spirits you control. Yeah, they could have used this ability twice. So they have one card in hand. They can activate the Faithless, Faceless Haven and then swing out. But if I kill the Supreme Phantom, that's not lethal. So now we Abrupt Decay and we should have lethal on the swing back. All right, so we did it by playing fair. Now we have to win game three on the draw. Resubmit. Oh, this hand's really good too. Keep. They've taken a mulligan. Turn one island. Pass. Interesting. Hello, Tassiger. Let's cast this Thought Seize. I'll go to 17, assuming that it resolves, and it does. We'll take a Rattle Chains, I guess. Sure thing. I think I just want to play another creature. So we'll cast the other Rally Gaze, just mill these. Let's play the Tassiger. Pass. So now they can put in a Rattle Chains. You got it. Ooh. So we know that they have the Geist Snare, and I can kill this Rattle Chains with the Decay. But they did replace the card off the Curious Obsession. That was a really good draw. Wow. Okay, so let's dress them, make sure that the coast is clear. Wow, that draw was insane. Okay, so no, and then what do I want to get with the Neoform? It's a Tarka or Hullbreaker Horror. I mean, I could get the Dracuseth, but I don't think that's what I want. I think just like the 9-9 that kills things when it comes into play is good enough. And our opponents conceded the game. Love it. Look at that new cyborg plan just working perfectly. Hey, and I played a little bit better this round. We're doing it. Okay, 3-0, two rounds left. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Okay, we're on the draw this time. The only thing this hand is missing is Neoform, so obviously we're going to keep it. I love that we have the curve of Discard Spell and a 2-drop into Tassiger. Temple Garden. Okay, not a good draw, but that's fine enough. Um, Take the Spellbinder. No point in taking Double Company, I think. Voice, okay, draw. Deck, I am asking you, give me Neoform. Thank you for listening. So we definitely mill these. That This is card five. So I'm going to put the Time Walk here, Neoform on top. And we have turn three dragon. All right, we'll take two, 14, draw. Passiger and Neoform get in there. We did not hit. Uh, let's cast the planning. It stinks. All right, have to pass. Did they draw land four? Would appear no. Sure thing. Let's cast Karns, or I'm sorry, the uh, other really gaze. We found the temporal sundering. I'm just gonna leave these all on top. Attack with the dragon. 
Kaya. Look at the cards. Current temporal sundering. Target me. Bounce this stupid thing. Tap Chu. And we win. Okay, one game down. A collected company deck. I don't hate the idea of leaving in Thoughtseize. The question is, do I want to bring in another threat? Let's try three Thoughtseize. I really like the flexibility that we have in this sideboard of like, if there's a creature I'm interested in, I get to bring that in as like a silver bullet target. Like that's really nice to have. In the previous video, there were a few times, I should say videos, there were a few times where I milled both dragons and being able to board into a third creature's, you know, a nice luxury to have. You don't need it, but it's certainly nice. Okay, so this hand's pretty interesting. The only thing we're missing is a mill card. I think that's worth it just because we have 10 mill effects in our deck right now. Okay. Layer of the Hydra. Llanowar Elves. Not what the doctor ordered. We'll pass the turn. Land two. Luminarch Aspirant. So they're going full beat down here. Draw. Yes. All right, now we have turn three dragon. Scheming. Mill, 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 mill. Collected company main phase. Sure. So this is a perfect spot for Dracuseth because of this creature. Draw. I don't give a hoot. Let's play the mandrills. And then we're going to put Dracuseth into play. Neoform. Boom. Look at this 88 flying dragon. This is smog from Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit, whatever. About to mow their entire little village down. Two cards in hand. That's an Archon of Amiria. Sure. They're going to throw away an elf to get in two damage. I think that's fair. This is busted. Wow. So I get to attack. I deal four damage to one target. And then I can deal three damage to two other targets. So I can deal four here and then three and three. So I can kill all three white creatures. Draw. So we will attack. Triggers. Deal four there. And then three and three. Board wipe. And then they take eight. We are four and all one round left to go. I am so pumped right now. This deck list is great. See you in the fifth round. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. We are on the play for the fifth and final round of this event, playing for an undefeated trophy with Pioneer Neoform. Let's go! Here, unfortunately, we opened up no lands. We're going to take a mulligan. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I think we have to go to five. Just not quite good enough. We would need a second land and a way to fill the graveyard. I'd probably keep this if there was one more land in it. Like, if it had... One of these is a land I'd risk drawing the mill effect, but just not close enough. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Uh, we will keep bottom the dragon and a scheming. So we need a black source and neoform. Play the breeding pool, pass the turn. Swamp into dreadwander. So probably zombies. 
Let's cast this contingency plan. Whoops, can't cast it off double green. Let's try that again. This is literally perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to leave these on top. So next turn, I can tap three lands and play the Tassiger, delving these three. Sure thing. I'll take two. I am at 18. Draw. Ouch. Tassiger the Golden Fang. You might be wondering why I didn't just like delve everything other than a Neoform. I needed a black land to cast the Tassiger, so I have to do this over two turns. I don't really have a choice. They play another zombie and another Reaver. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to get to resolve Neoform. Draw. Okay, let's go get our dragon. And attack. Trigger. I hit the Karn's Temporal Sundering. I'd love to take an extra turn. And let's bounce this Choo Choo. Sweet. So they're at 14 post-combat. I'll cast the Thought Seize. Let's get a little bit more info out of them. Dark Salvation. So they're just pure zombies. Love it. Okay, draw another land. We can play the scheming looking for another time lock effect. Beautiful. Um, I'm actually going to just leave it all on top. Because I don't want to just leave double time lock and then go deeper into my deck and then accidentally look at more time locks. So we'll cast this. Because what if I milled five and then I end up looking at four time walks on that trigger? I just look like an idiot. So by leaving some dead cards on top, I don't know. Tassiger. Okay, let's get in there. Trigger. Beautiful. All right, take that extra turn. Let's bounce one of these creatures. And I can play Tassiger. Cool. Draw. We got game number one. We are a single game away from victory. It's pretty sweet. So I do want a third threat, and I'm sort of thinking about Dragonlord Atarka here, just because this thing has to be able to untap an attack, and this can just kill a bunch when it enters the battlefield. What I like about Dracuseth, though, is that we saw that uh, the black card that says white or green creature, it hits both of these. So I think I'm going to try the Dracuseth, see how that plays out. And then I probably want Ley Lines or Discard. That's 61. I guess I'll board out a Strategic Planning. Yeah, let's try this out. Let's get this trophy. I'm going to mulligan. I want to be more disciplined. This is much better. Keep. Bottom. A planning effect. Play line on the battlefield. Let's go. Turn one. Dread Wanderer. Watery Grave. Pass. Swamp. Into Reaver. You got it. Draw. Another ley line. So we don't actually have a way to turn three. So I need both a land and a neoform. Ooh, that's a bummer. We're going to have to mill a Velamachus here. Okay, we're going to leave the Sanctum on top. Pass the turn. Another Wanderer. They have three cards. Draw. Play the land. Let's cast strategic planning. Yikes. Okay, not looking good. Play the Tassiger. Okay, so we only have lands in the graveyard. 
which is relevant for Tassiger's ability. Power word kill. Okay. Non-angel, non-demon, non-dragon. So that's important to remember. Because that doesn't hit either of our top end cards. So I think I lost this game because I tried to do it in two steps. Yeah, now I'm dead. Okay, let's go to the next one. Lesson learned. I'm not going to spread it out over two turns again. That's my own fault. Okay, so dragons, all that good stuff. Um, hmm. This thing like wipes their entire board. I'm just going to resubmit. I'm not going to overthink this. All right, we're on the play. We have to get this for the trophy. Yes. Very good hand. Keep. No ley line, but it's very, very good. Unfortunately, we have the Dracuseth in hand. All right. Trip Breaker. We'll play the other really Gaze. We don't want any of this, so we'll mill. See if we hit land three. We did. So that means that we guarantee have a turn three Neoform as long as we aren't disrupted here. There's the Thoughtsy. So they're going to take our Neoform. And they do. So if we draw a Neoform, we'll be okay. But we also have these other really Gazes in the graveyard to dig for them. And they missed their second land. Okay, so let's cast it. I'm going to mill triple land. I don't think that's what we want. Draw. I saw the removal spell, but they missed their land. I think I'm just going to play it. All right, don't burn me, please. No removal spell. If this is another discard spell, I don't care. Trip Breaker. All right, we'll flash back other worldly gaze once again. This stinks. I have to... I guess I could draw the Tassiger for turn. Then I can't activate. Okay. Draw. Get in there. We put them to 14. And then we can activate Tassiger on their end step. They should know my hand. If they attack, I go to 12. And they're passing. So I'm going to take one and activate this uh, Tassiger. Now they can return Leyline to my hand. That stunk. Okay. Draw. One mana away from being able to cast part of the Water Veil. That's kind of nice, I guess. Swing. All right, we go to nine and then eight when I activate the mana confluence. Why did I, I should have, I guess it didn't matter. All right, let's activate this again. So now they get to give me another ley line, beautiful. <laughs> All right, draw. Need a land here. All right, they're at four. So they're attacking for one. I'll go to seven. And now I don't have to tap the mana confluence anymore. I don't know if I've ever activated Tasker more in my life more than once in a turn or once in a game. And here I am. This is what the third time I've activated Tasker. They gave me back another one. Okay, draw. Swing with the Golden Fang. All right, let's play the hoots. Pass the turn. They hit land two. Activate the Tassiger. Did they give me contingency plan? Wait, they're giving me Neoform? What? Well, there's no reason to cast Neoform here, so we're just going to attack. 
I already have lethal on board. So make them use the removal spell on a creature that doesn't matter. All right, so now I can play Neoform. Sack this Tassiger. Tap land. I guess I could have also just played a time walk. I don't know, it's fine. I didn't even think of that. I could have just time walked in one. But good luck beating two creatures here. They have land three. And they are dead to the onboard Tassiger. We did it. 5-0 undefeated trophy. Woot woot. So everyone always loves to ask the question, what would you change? Honestly, I wouldn't. I've had this deck list together ever since my last video that I recorded. Like the exact 75, it's been just sitting here waiting for me to record again. It felt perfect. Let me know what you think. Also, keep in mind, I played like trash this league. This deck was so good that it carried me. I'd love to hear your comments below that are things other than you suck at magic because I already know that. But thank you for watching. I gotta run. Take care and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.